Hallo, hallo, hallo. Today is Tuesday, September 9, 2025. Here follows the solutions of problem 238. We wanted the police, because they were lazy, to wait as long as they possibly can and still intersect the pirates. This problem was solved by this person, uh, Verzen, with a very difficult last name, and it was written up nicely by Eugen. Thank you, Eugen, and thank you, Verzen. This is fundamentally a minimization problem. If we manage to identify the quantity which we would like to minimize and express it in terms of angle alpha, so we call that F alpha, then the physics problem it becomes a math problem, calculus problem, namely d function alpha, d alpha, has to be zero to find the minimum. This is the quantity that wants to minimize, 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 yes. So from here to here, this is where the pirates are, and this is point A. And so we want to minimize this distance. And that distance is the same as L1 minus L2. Look more closely at that figure. It's obvious that that is L1 minus L2. The time T takes for the police to intercept the pirates is this. It's obviously L1 divided by 1.5 V, because that is the speed of the pilots. It took me a few seconds to also see that it is D divided by V sine alpha and L2 divided by V cosine alpha. It may take you also a few seconds Look at the triangle that has alpha in it. Give it another minute and high school mass will then immediately agree with these two results. So now we have to minimize this function. That is L1 minus L2. This is L1, this is L2, this is L1 minus L2. We have to minimize this function. We call that function F alpha. So we take D F alpha D alpha equals zero. When I say D F alpha, then this D of course is not that D. D F alpha D alpha. Uh, the person who solved this problem remembers his calculus better than I do. So this prime indicates the derivative. And he wants that derivative to be zero. And he did it. He did know how to calculate the derivative. Very few of you know that, and that's why I think there were only two correct solutions. The hang up was to find the minimum. So, the result then is 
that one and a half cosine alpha minus one is zero, and thus that alpha is 48 degrees. And that is the correct answer to this problem. Organ, very cleverly, also considered situations whereby the ratio is not one and a half between the speeds, but where the ratio is 1.1, 2, 3, and 10. This symbol looks like phi, but it, of course, has nothing to do with an angle. It is a number, it is a constant. Instead of the constant being 1.5, Organ used four different values. And he finds then that alpha has these values. That's nice, Organ, that you did that. But the correct answer is, let's go back to it, 48 degrees. Round it off somehow. All right, there we go. Now I want you to show that even if you do not know how to do the calculus, that there is still a way to find the minimum. To find the minimum of that function of this function. Okay? Stay with me. For those of you who do not know any calculus or very little, I want to show you that you can also find the minimum without calculus. <laughs> So I asked Google to plot for me 1.5 minus cosine, call it alpha, divided by sine alpha. And that function has to be minimized, right? And here you see, as a function of angle, these are angles in radians. All these solutions for that curve. If sine x is zero, which is the case when alpha is 180 degrees, then of course this function is going to infinity. You can see that here. Um, alpha is 180 degrees, that is 3.14, roughly 3.14 radians. And if you go here to 3.14, if you can sort of do that in your mind, then you go to infinity, it's obvious. One divided by zero. So we will concentrate now only on the function that is relevant in our case. And we want to know where that minimum is. And Google is so nice that it shows you both this value at the minimum and this value at the minimum. There is one value, which is this, and there is 1.118, which is this. And so once you take that, then you can calculate alpha. If you know that 1.5 minus cosine alpha is 0.841, then you find that alpha is 48.8 degrees. And that is, of course, the value that you just saw in the solution. Now, why it is not exactly the same it's a matter of rounding off errors. Don't worry about that. 
I just want you to realize that if you just use Google, then you can find the minimum of this function without any calculus. All right then, no surprise though that, that there are only two correct solutions because people, of course, got stuck on the calculus. This was a very nice problem, I think. Once more, thank you, Organ. But above all, thank you, the person whose name is difficult to pronounce, who solved that problem beautifully. <laughs>